Democrats praise Bush and want more small business war profiteers. Well, it's another big day for Democrats doing Democraty things. At a Friday event commemorating the 20th anniversary of the President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief, hosted by the George W. Bush Institute, former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi spoke glowingly of the President who instituted the program in 2003 at the same time he was preparing to launch an invasion which would inflict unfathomable horrors upon our world which continue to unfold to this day. I'll just say this honestly, that the Bush family, it's because of their humanity, their faith, their generosity of spirit, their compassion, said Pelosi. Once again, it's an honor to be associated with President Bush in this. Pelosi then pointed to the former president, who was also joined by former Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice and oligarch Bill Gates, with video appearances by Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Bono of U2 fame. Also on Friday, we witnessed what Glenn Greenwald described as the most Elizabeth Warren tweet ever, in which the Massachusetts senator took a bold stand against big war profiteering to advocate on behalf of the little guy, by which I mean small war profiteering. In the 1990s, America had 51 major contractors bidding for defense work, tweeted Warren. Today, there are only five massive companies remaining. Defense contracting should be reworked to break up the massive contracts awarded to the big guys and create opportunities for firms of all sizes. Yeah, yeah, that's the real problem, Liz. It's not that the war industry reaps huge profits from global militarism and nonstop warmongering. It's that the war industry doesn't include enough plucky small businesses. Won't somebody please think of the mom-and-pop war profiteers? They've been forced to close their small community military-industrial complex shops by Walmartian titans like Raytheon and Northrop Grumman. This is almost as embarrassing as Warren's 2019 push to convert the U.S. war machine to clean energy, saying we don't have to choose between a green military and an effective one on the campaign trail during her run for president. Because that's what being a progressive Democrat means in 2023, backing the imperial war machine to the hilt and gushing about how wonderful and compassionate the Bush family is while calling for sustainably powered aircraft carriers and more small businesses in the military-industrial complex. A Ukrainian flag on an electric car. This is as far left as you're allowed to go in the political landscape of the most powerful nation on earth without being branded a treasonous Kremlin operative. This is the Democratic Party's real face. This is the Democrats telling you who they really are. Their whole function is to divert all meaningful leftward movement away from inconvenient areas like demilitarization and economic justice and toward convenient areas like whether there should be solar panels on an Abrams tank. And toward that end, they have been very, very successful. The sooner Americans stop falling for the fake two-party puppet show and begin pushing for real change, the sooner our world can move toward health. These people do not care about you.